Okay, this module is on mate selection. So it's about who you choose and also how you choose your mate. So one of the primary, the primary, actually the primary factor that or variable that explains um, the marital success is uh, a shared value system. And it can be whatever, whatever the value system is. I mean, it can be very um, sexist, if you, if you will, or very egalitarian, but as long as the two people share the value system, then that is what really matters. So, but I want to go to, I want to, I want to talk about religious people, uh, what they can teach us about um, how to choose or how they choose and why they tend to have uh, more successful marriages. So they they do tend to spend they tend tend to be more deliberate or conscious about the kind of person I want to be careful because I don't want to say that non-religious people aren't conscious or deliberate about how they choose their their partner but one of the things that religious people do is that they choose people that share their same religious ideology and value system. So that's going to be really important. So like true like truly religious people that's going to be a kind of a central command and so that's going to be one of the, that's you know, obviously if people are sharing an ideology and value system then they're more likely to be in agreement about all sorts of things that are happening in their life including uh gender roles you know sort of the appropriate behavior for husbands and wives you know the husband or the wife and also their relationship to the children, whatever the rules are, you know, of you know, in that particular, in that particular religion or culture, right? So, I will uh, let you guys know that people of different cultures who get married, or people of different religions uh, that get married, do have a higher divorce rate. It's not an inevitable. I mean, I know of cases, right? I mean, of people who are, who come from different um, backgrounds, sort of cultural backgrounds or religious backgrounds, and they, they're fine. So, but, okay, but I, I don't want to exaggerate that. So, because, so why, and then, and conversely, sorry, conversely, there are also people of the same religion that may not uh, see eye to eye. Now, one of the things that's going to help religious people too is that they're more likely to go to the same source of authority. So it could be the um, priest or the pastor or the rabbi or the imam, whoever they view as the person who is sort of the the expert in terms of what their what appropriate behavior is, is supposed to be, and that they're in agreement with this. Um, with whatever it is the authority says. So it's not the these individuals themselves that are making up their own rules. They're willing to adhere to rules that have already been established in terms of what the appropriate behavior is for either one of the parties. Now, I want to be careful because as individuals, we always will interpret whatever the rules are going to be. And also, we, we break the rules too, right? We violate the rules. So, so.